back to Easton to put a bow on this one. A fun day of men's lacrosse here on the field of Fisher Stadium. 16-11, the Army Black Knights win it. Let's take a look at how it all unfolded. And, Alex, this was a, a game that kind of traded punches, and Army got started right away in the first half. The opening tally, a quick one from Reese Burek. We'd be seeing a lot of him today. Yeah, Reese Burek was excellent in this game, and Army came out fast and furious, but Lafayette answered. They matched their intensity, and they dictated the tempo for a lot of this game. You see the Freeman, brother, the Freeman brothers, J Jacob Freeman, getting involved, but Army matched them punch for punch, and this was like an old-school boxing match, both teams going after each other, and they had great moments. You just saw Connor Freeman. Here's the highlight of the day. Woo! I mean, Burek getting crafty with it. That really uh, gave Army some juice going into halftime when it was a one-goal game. And in the second half, Black Knights, a little too much to handle. And Army, we talked about them. They're one of the most complete teams in college across, one of the deepest teams in college across. And Lafayette had a valiant effort. As you see Connor Freeman here going from defense to offense. But it was just too much at the end of the day. Yeah, so Army ended up putting a few late goals in there to make it a 16-11 final score. There was Plunkett. Here's Sargent. He had a hat trick for Lafayette and a little dump off for Iker. That really sealed the deal. And here was the final goal from Burek, who finished with four. So let's dig in on the stats here. And the face-offs, even though, yeah, Army won a lot more than Lafayette. The way Lafayette battled back there in the second half, to me, Alex, that was really impressive, even though the final result was what it was. To see a team being able to say, you know what, we'll find something and then win the bulk of the faceoffs against an All-American like Will Coletti, that's no joke. Yeah, you got to give Evan Prince and Facone in this wing unit, the coaching staff, a ton of credit for making the adjustment. I believe they were four for 15 or 19 in that first half, and that's a big difference in the second half. They dominated. Yeah, halftime, 15 draws, one by or faceoffs, one by Army, four for Lafayette, and well, things change. Will Coletti, all-time leader in ground balls at Army. Uh, he's putting up monster numbers. Uh, no surprise there. Burek, the four goals. Calman Cram, Liam Sargent account for more than half of Lafayette's scoring, but Leopards just come up a little shy here, and that's the way Patriot League play starts off for both teams. So... We move on and we move out. It's been a fun day of lacrosse here in Easton. I'm Sam Cooperman saying so long from Fisher Stadium. Final score, 16-11 Army. All games airing on the ESPN networks are archived and streaming live on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.